So what is digital art? Um, basically, digital art is art that's created on the computer. I must say, so despite most of my art being from the traditional styles, I, um, I'd much rather draw digitally just because I feel like it's, in a sense, creatively freeing because there's a lot more room for error. was that I prefer traditional art and I thought that because it's kind of a timeless uh, medium of expressing yourself. Um, I believe that digital has been becoming more popular nowadays simply because of how accessible it is um, to to show your work on social media um, and since almost everyone is on social media or any kind of platform in, in today's age um, it's just easier to recognize art. Digital art for me has a different element that traditional art doesn't have it has this you can have a lot cleaner and i guess more hmm it's just a different look to it that you can achieve and it opens up a whole new range of styles No, it's not easier, I don't think, from an outside um, perspective. Because it's... You are still creating something. It, it It's coming from your mind, through your, what you're making it with, onto a screen. It's not... It's not... It's not it's just a different type of skill you're using from traditional art. It's not any easier skill, it's just different. Yes, it's very easy. And the answer to why? Control Z. Next question. I think it takes an equal equal level of skill because you're, you're still creating something I think that traditional art will definitely still exist in the future um, the thing with digital art is that it's you know it relies on technology and obviously technology you know, we don't know what the future of the technology is going to be and hopefully, you know, digital art will advance with technology, but I think traditional art, there's, it's always going to be there. There's like, you know, less all natural forms just cease to exist. You know, traditional art can be, you know, used, it's made out of natural things. In the future, it will be more common for digital art to be like, um, what we see, but in the same way that grand pianos are still a thing, even though we've moved to a completely digital era, people are still going to be using pen and paper. Even though in all art, people use references to draw something, it could be a still image or a scenery, um, through digital art, it's easier to just copy some or even take credit for someone's ideas. Digital art isn't as um, kind of freeform in a sense as traditional because there's just stuff you can't do on a computer in, in the same sense that there's stuff you can't do on pencil and paper but good creativity, uh, well creative people can always overcome restriction 
and that breeds more creativity. So the more the more restrictions are placed on an individual, the more chance they have to work with those cre uh, restrictions to creatively solve those problems. So I don't think that it overwhelmingly restricts creativity. No. <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have anything more to add to that. No, I don't. I don't think so. Um, yeah, it, it has its place next to digital art. Um, the world, the world's moving forward, modernizing. And I guess some aspects of what came before will be lost. Like the burning of fossil fuels. But we need to hold on to other aspects. Just for the sake of personal identity and collective identity. And I think traditional art is one of these things. Yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're still creating something. And I think when you create something, you put yourself, your, your influences, your identity, your, your own personality into it. In, in subtle ways. And anything where you do that, I think that's art. Where you create something, that's art. Because it, it takes it takes a lot to create something. Even even to a moderate degree it takes a lot to the, to create it. So, the effort put in and the, the, the personal aspect put in, I think that's what determines if it's art or not. I don't think accounting is art. You may put yourself into it and you may put your effort into it, but you don't put your identity. Are, are you inspired? to do accounting. Is it your, is, is your, do you put your identity into, into accounting as you do into your drawings, your art, your paintings, your, your style of drawing the human features. I don't think so. And thus, because you do do that, because you do put those things in, you do create digital art. I think it is. It is a true art. Because even though you're, you're not, you're not doing it physically to say, you won't have a physical thing just because you won't have a physical thing doesn't discredit it. It just gives a different way of viewing it, which shouldn't mean it. it is an art. It's just a different medium, I guess. Yes, very much. Because it's worth expressing yourself. It's an it's art, and through art, art, through art, you get you get freedom, and freedom should be protected and at all costs. There's never been a war to say over art, not fought with guns. But anyone who tries to take art away from someone is is a villain. 
because art's sacred. Art, art is identity and identity is freedom. And no matter how you create it, digi digitally, traditionally, it's freeing. And you should be free to create it any way you like, within reason. <laughs>